Whether you want to create infographics or social media posts, proposals, charts, whatever it is, you're going to want to use AI these days, right? You can try on Canva, but it's a nightmare and you have to drag and drop stuff. Whereas, using Vengage, we can use AI to create things just like this, all from single prompts, but also using templates. Now, it's not only just creating the thing if you give it info. You can just ask it and it will go and find the relevant info that it needs to add it in. For example, I asked for one on Scottish independence to see what it would come up with. And it actually went away, got the information, brought it back and put it here. And now, inside the editor, which I could get it to regenerate it and change it. But in here, I can actually change parts of it and edit them. Now, you might be wondering, why don't I just do this using Gemini or ChatGPT? Well, first of all, in Gemini, for example, I first asked for it, it didn't create it. Then when it did, it created this here, which at first glance looks really good. But you start to then look and some of these words aren't real words and it doesn't make sense. And that's because it's incapable of doing the, the letters correctly. And for ChatGPT, again, it didn't do it the first time around. I had to ask it again. And this is what it came up with, which is pretty cool, to be fair. But the problem here is, A, it's looks a bit funky, so like E dash England, and then this here text is going out of the box. As you can see, it's quite consistent. And if I wanted to change this, like the size of the box or the colour, because there's no pop, for example, I can't really do this here. I'd have to ask ChatGPT, and it's just like chucking hope, hoping that it'll, it'll change it. So, but when you want to create consistent infographics that are on brand and have a high degree of accessibility, you use Vengage. So let me show you in action here. So on Vengage here, you can see that we have this little prompting bit, like a chat for ChatGPT, the same type of thing. Now you can go into automatic and it'll automatically decide what it thinks you want, but you can also select it if you know. So for example, here, if we go to infographics, we can go to timeline and see these change at the bottom because now we can see various timeline examples. Now the cool thing here, is for me is that you get to now decide which of these do you like and go from there. Whereas before when you're trying to generate stuff with these other chat GPT and the likes, it's just pure shot in the dark. So it really creates a consistency that you don't get with other tools, which is good for education. It's also good for business, LinkedIn, things like that as well. So if we first paste this in here, we'll go product launch timeline for Q4 marketing campaign, focusing on deliverables and milestones. Now, all we have to do is click Generate Infographic, and it'll go away and generate that design. In literally less than a minute, I didn't even finish drinking my water, it's created this Q4 product launch timeline with key dates for marketing success. Now, you can look at this and go, perfect, let me customize it, right? Or you could just ask it to redo the same thing again. So we can just say, click Generate Infographic, we just let it generate a new one if you say you didn't like that one. But additionally, you can go on these, you can customize them from the actual templates as well, which is pretty cool. So creating based on this desi initial design. So we'll let that generate another one. And once it pops up, we'll go and I'll show you how you can customize these to your liking as well. Oh, there we go. So Q4 product launch timeline. There we go. That one looks a bit better for me. Campaign kickoff, complete research, assets, etc. Very nice. So let's go customize it here. And it'll pop it open inside of Vengage Editor. So we can see here, it's now popped it up. We can actually start to interact with this now, changing things like colors, etc. So now we have this open, we can check over here and you can see Brand Kit. Now, Brand Kit is where we can actually set or assign what we want our brand to be. So brands generally have a font, they have a color um, palette. And so we can actually use these for this, we can actually apply them to here. So there you go, for example, here or here. You can shuffle them as well so that it's using the same colors, but different uh, variations of how they're used together, which is pretty cool. So we'll select something like that, Let me change it up. That's nice. And then we can go to AI tools. Now, they've got a lot of AI inside of Engage now. So we can auto fill content, so you can write content. It can generate images, icons, designs, feedback, and it can even translate or improve your writing. So let's generate some icons, because if we look here at what we've created, you can see that it looks kind of like it's missing a bit of something. Let's generate some icons to match our design. So I don't know what to, to put here, so let's just say product launch. So product launch, and we'll see what it can come up with. Just 
on its own. And there we go. So it's created some icons for us here. So I like this one in the circle the best. Let's bring that over here. Something like this. Or actually, let's move this over here at the top. So we can actually grab this, pull it over, grab this, pull it over. So what's cool here now is you can see we're actually blending our usage of AI with what we actually want, as well as keeping it on brand. So let me actually unlock that. We can move it down a little bit. And boom. Looking very nice. I'll move all this stuff down a little too. So then if you recall, I was talking about how this is an accessibility first AI platform. So if we go to file, accessibility, check accessibility, we can see here that there are some issues, namely the small text sizes. And so this is something we can then fix directly in here by literally just clicking on here on the text. And then we can change the size like that, right? So once you're done editing it, you can change the page size, you can change the orientation, you can even share it with your team so you can save it as a template that then your team can use for say Q1, Q2, Q3, Q4, whatever timelines, or if you want this to be like your default timeline template, you could save it like that. And then once you're done, you simply just click download and you can actually download it. And what's cool is if you're on business plan, you can actually download this as a PowerPoint and then you can save this into your standard deck to use. So really impressed with Vengage and what they're doing right now. I think honestly, if you're wanting to make any infographics, they're the best place to do it. And my initial thought when I seen it was they're really good for when you're making like business content or if you're just posting stuff on like LinkedIn. Because as I was saying, it's a nightmare trying to get any of these models to really create coherent sentences and and also replicable different infographics because they change, you know, all the time. So Go check out Vengage. They are leading the way on infographics using AI. There'll be a first link in the description below. Go and check it out today, and I'll see you in the next video. Take care.